Temperature change is very common for patients who are already bedridden. Uh, is there a weakness in the body that can no longer move their bodies? Or patients already has uh, problems paralyzed. with controlling, uh, even paralyzed, not stroke, uh, controlling with uh, urination certifications, which means that anytime uh, the patient can will urinate without even holding it, no, or defecation, but it bottles sila anytime as yet. Okay, so uh, the patient will be wearing diapers and this. Yeah. So our role here is to assist the patient in changing the diapers yeah. Okay, let's go with the first procedure. Enter the room. Okay, so it is still patient. the same procedure. Yeah. Enter the room, approach your patient and introduce yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Next is explain the procedure. Tell your patient that I'll be the one to assist you in changing the diapers. Uh, third one is Next is Then after that one, prepare the necessary materials. So one of the materials that you need, you need a new uh, diapers, you also need a linen, extra linens to cover the original or remove the original linens. You also need a new underpants, Nazia. Okay? So, meaning we have to replace the current underpants that your patient has, Nazia. Then you also need a gloves, Nazia. A new pair of gloves, Nazia. Okay? After preparing the materials, what do we do next? Change the patient's patient patient linen, linen with extra sheets. sheets. Okay, so we are going to change the patient's linen with an extra sheets. Example, since diaper change went up, we will just show the area within the diaper, the or the surroundings of the diaper, right? You just have to show like this. Mm. Okay. You don't need to open the entire linens, the sea. Okay, that will uh, uh, the privacy and uh, the privacy or the private parts of your patient must be Okay, so make sure to open only the diaper and the masia. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to uh, reveal all of the body that I see. Okay? Then, uh, unfasten the diaper. When you unfasten the diaper, okay, make sure the straps return it to its original place. Because we will still be using the straps in, uh, in, uh, in uh, when we uh, dispose the diaper that's here, okay? And then open your diaper. Ask your patient to bend their, uh, bend their uh, legs. And then tuck in the diaper. Then you can start to perform perineal care. What's the next procedure? Perform perineal care. Okay, perform perineal care. When we say perineal care, that's uh, genitalia yeah. care. No? <clears throat> so we have uh, two types of genitalia. We have uh, penis and Okay. So uh, during the assessment, you don't need to be in detail with uh, perineal care. Nasia. All you have to do is just you just have to mention that uh, when 
when doing perennial care, uh, we will clean from the cleaniest, start from the cleaniest area, then going to the dirtiest, dirtiest area. You don't need to explain further than yeah. Because, uh, I don't know, uh, during your class, uh, you might uh, encounter the procedures for perennial care. It's a very long procedure, actually, for yes. perennial care. Very, and very specific and very detailed. Yes, yeah. There is an area where you will start and there is an area where you will end. During the assessment, just tell your assessor, I'm going to clean the, uh, the perennial area, the general area of my patient, from the cleanest to the dirtiest. Yes. 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 And you just have to mention, or let's just say, pretend that that, like this is the penis of your uh, patient, Asiya, then I will So if this is the penis of your patient, then we will start from the cleanest going yes. to the, the dirtiest. Yes. 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 You just have to point. There's no need to explain further than here. For female, and a female. Nah, <laughs> for female uh, genitalia uh, yeah, the cleanest part is actually from the top which is the most pubis then going down uh, yeah. side to sides from the labia majora on the right side labia majora on the left side going, uh, going down uh, yeah. get seen you? Okay, very good and that is for the perennial care once, the, uh, once we are done with the perennial care what do we do next? with one hand on the hip and the other on the shoulder Right, so we are going to roll the patient to the uh, side as yes. So, uh, sorry, well, sir, I'm going to roll you to the other side or side like position. Ready? One, two, three. Side. Alright. So once the patient is on the side as here, what do we do? Move. Just take the moist and wipes before we remove. Okay. Using the moist and wipes, thoroughly clean the diaper area, both the front and the back. Avoid bracing or rubbing the skin too hard. You may, you may need, need to roll, roll the patients onto their back or side to clean the areas you, you cannot reach. Okay, so, uh, or in other words, uh, you just have to simplify that one that you, we are going to clean the diaper area or the buttocks area. That's, yeah. So, side and to the other side, that's, yeah, and the last one is on the center. That's, yeah. So, when we clean the center, it should be from the inside going to the outside while you are opening the buttocks of your patient as yet. Mm -hmm. Then after cleaning the buttocks of your patient, what do we do next? Tuck, Tuck the, the diaper far enough under the hip. It, it should, should be, be able, able to pull the diaper out from under, under them. Okay, so we are able to remove the diaper. What's next? Roll the Roll soil, the soil diaper, diaper inwards as we move it to contain the deepness. Okay, so you have to roll the diaper inward as yet. So roll it inward as yet, okay? And that's the time you are going to use the straps to close back or hold the diaper that's here, so that the diaper will not spill. Okay, gets in you? Yes. All right. Then you have to, what's next? Roll the soil diaper in your shoe. Please use the oil diaper in the plastic grocery bag, but do not steal the bag twice. Okay, uh, actually not a grocery plastic bag. We just put, it, put this one in a... Uh, trash bag or garbage bag. No, but I'm black. Not one. I'm Okay. Then make sure to knock, but do not knock it completely. Ayo hikta. That's uh, because mulape pa tayo tungo lang sa Okay. Once the patient is already uh, clean, as here, the next procedure there is apply barrier cream. Okay. Uh, there is a mistake in that procedure, as here. Before you apply something to the buttocks of your patient, don't forget to remove your gloves. Okay. And, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, remove the other pads as well. Okay. Once you remove the diaper, this year, uh, remove the other pads this year. Then throw this one in the garbage this year. Then, uh, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> replace it with a new, new under pads this year. Or before you replace it with a new under pads this year, you have to remove your gloves because your gloves is already dirty this year. The patient is already clean. We're already done cleaning the patient. So remove your gloves, perform hand washing, and then wear a new pair of gloves as here. Then apply the new underpants as here. Okay, oh look at the way Okay. Alright, okay. Now once we're done, what do we do next? 
Apply the apply barrier, apply barrier cream, cream to the perineum to moisturize. And okay, so uh, you have to uh, make sure that one in front of your assessor that uh, you are going to apply any creams or ointment if there's any problems with your uh, the patient's uh, skin. For like example, rashes is very skin common. Okay? Or even uh, bed sores. Source. Okay? Bed sores is another common problem, especially for elderly clients. Okay? So you have to apply. Uh, ointment or barrier creams as well. Once we are done applying the one, what do we do next? Apply the cleanse to dry, open a fresh diaper and top side for this from under the hip. Okay. And flatten the position, the rest okay. of the diaper on the bed, smoothing the sheets underneath as well. Okay, very good. Now you have to remember this one. This is the front part of your diaper, mm -hmm. and this is the back part of your diaper. Usually, my you is the back part because it has straps on it. So when you apply, make sure the front part or the diaper with the design should be on the legs of your patient as yet. And for the for the back part, it should be on the buttocks of your patient. And then fold this one and insert towards the body of your patient as yet. Okay? Then after that one, what do we do? Roll the client back towards you onto the Okay, so roll back the client into supine position. Sir, the count of three, uh, I'll answer that. Turn you back into supine position. Ready? One, two, three. Now, all right, very good. Then what's next? Pull the diaper between their legs. Okay, so pull the diaper between their legs. This year is where you can pull that one. Then what's next? Remove oh, any wrinkles and fasten the tabs. Yes. For a snug fit, take the top top facing downward and the bottom top facing upward. Okay, so you have to remember this one. When applying the straps, you notice that there are two straps. We have the upper straps and the lower straps. Is here. For the upper straps, when you strap it directly to the diaper, it should be going down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for the lower straps, it should be going up. Yes, yeah. So we could form like X. Okay. This will actually help hold the diaper. Yes, yeah. Especially patients that lihok kayo, it keeps on moving. Yes, yeah. This will really help lock the diaper. Yes, yeah. Also, <laughs> Then wash your hands, hand washing, then return the bed to the desired height and position before leaving. Check that the client is properly positioned in bed. This includes moving them regularly so that pressure is not placed on the hip or other part of the body for too long. Okay, so uh, return back the the bed, the bed to its original position or on a comfortable position. Um, one, um, Next one is report, 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 and report, and report. Report, and report. report and record everything. Okay, and that's how you change the diaper yeah, yeah. of your patient. Yeah. Right, okay. So let's have a break. Sakto kaya, the o'clock, no? Let's have a break, 15 minutes break. Then after 15 minutes break, then we will go with uh, child care procedures. Okay, thank you very much. 